Welcome back, everyone. So... Our plan is to incrementally optimize Windows 10. Okay, this is a... Uh, it's going to be in steps. So how do we know what each step is accomplishing? This is something that's just worried my mind since our last discussion. How do we know what each step is worth? How do we how do we measure it? How do we quantify these things? So I have an idea um, that may is it, babe, I'm hoping. Hear me out. That this makes sense. So remember last time we were looking at the task manager. And here we knew basically looking at this this task manager we knew that there were quite a few applications running and the best thing we could use to study these this impact of these applications on the system is to look at the details tab and in the details tab we could sort these and I have I've chosen some important headings important sorting headings, uh, the CPU time, or I should say the, the current percentage of CPU usage, and then there was the CPU time accrued since boot up, okay, so this means the system has been going, um, this idle process has been collecting most of the time since the system was, was restarted, which is somewhere around six minutes ago, seven minutes ago. We could look at memory, the working set size, or the peak amount of memory consumed. We could look at the handle count, or the thread count, so we can sort these. You can see as I click these things, it, it sorts them. Um, but I think, overall, I think our most useful, most sensible measure is the system idle process. Why is this sensible? Well, think about it. If the machine was doing nothing, and all it's doing now is running Task Manager, if this machine, is, if it's doing nothing like it should be, then the idle process should be at 99% of the CPU right now. There should be nothing else happening. I don't know if this makes sense, but you have, you have to think about it. If we had a very powerful game running or something else running, it would take all the CPU power to 99% uh, to, uh, or 100% of the CPU power, and this idling process would go to zero. But in, in reverse, the thinking is, if that game is over, if we're done with a, a powerful task, then the idling process should take all the time, all the CPU time, and just be waiting until we tell the computer we want to do something else. Okay, so that, this, I think, is the secret understanding of how we are incrementally improving the system. In a perfect system, the CPU time would be all here, and these would be very, very tiny numbers. You can see that some of these are very tiny. So all of these, except for the system idle process, would be very, very tiny. So as we continue to optimize the system, we're going to drive these numbers to smaller and smaller sizes, this number to a bigger and bigger size, and this number, the CPU time, a CPU percentage, that will be growing as well with this number okay this is just an immediate state but this is like a like a, a reservoir and it's telling us that the system is so efficient that all the, all the idling time is the major task on the system taking all the all the cpu time and that's it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. We want the system to have nothing to do 
and just let us take control when we are ready. When we're ready to run that game, when we're ready to run that benchmark, or do anything that's intensive on the machine, we want the machine to have as much resource available as possible to us. This is how we achieve the maximum performance of the system. And you can see here, with nothing happening right now, I have some tasks running here. 70, we still have lost 25% of our CPUs to something. We don't know what it is. There's all these processes running, things that are running right now. And you can look at these tasks, and some of them are Windows module, there's some kind of uh, Windows installer worker I don't know what this is what is it doing is updates it's it's doing something but it doesn't matter as we pre perform the optimizations to the system we we will see all of these numbers get very very small while this number here these numbers here gets very very large so I hope I hope this makes sense and uh, and in the next videos we will begin to start this incremental system um, optimization and we will be checking this and uh, I'll be doing a lot of rebooting so that you can see how these all will reset to zero and be in between these improvement steps and we can see the difference in how they grow, the rate of which they grow. Uh, and we can understand uh, which ones are still needing optimizing and which are not. And we'll step over and look at the threads and the handles and peak working set and all of these. We'll look at these as part of the, the understanding of it. But I think the ultimate thing is to maximize the system idle process. Okay. I hope this makes sense. Um, once we're finished with the optimizations, we can start doing some benchmarking just to see. Uh, and maybe that's a good thing. We should we should run some benchmarks now and, and then come back later and we can run the benchmarks again. And this is a way, another way we can quantify the real, the real life improvement in addition to this system idle process everything should should improve but um, ultimately we will understand it more thoroughly and this will give you a way to understand your own system and how these improvements are, are providing results for you again please don't hesitate to subscribe. I'll be putting out more of these videos in the next few weeks. And you need to know when those videos come out. you got to hit subscribe. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you next time.